All right, today is a very exciting day. It's no secret that I'm a big fan of Air Arms, not only as a, as a company, but I'm a big fan of their rifles. I've been shooting with Air Arms rifles for about 10 years now, and um, it's been a long time dream of mine to visit the Air Arms headquarters and the factory and to meet the people behind the guns. Never thought it would happen because I live the other side of the world, the Air Arms factory, I live in South Africa, but I've traveled clear across two continents today, and I'm standing right in front of the Air Arms factory. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's go inside and, and meet the people behind the gun, shall we? Hi, Claire. Ah, hi. <laughs> Great to finally meet you. Absolutely. <laughs> welcome to England and welcome to our arms. Oh, we're excited to be here. We're very happy to have you here. Wow, fantastic. I'm, I'm quite keen to just get started and go check out how the guns are made and, and just yeah. meet everyone. Sure, so. let's go. Uh, I'm Alan George, General Manager of Air Arms. Uh, we have Matt Dubber here today, over from South Africa, to look at a factory and see what we do. Um, see how we produce the products, including the ins and outs and the machine and all. Great. Here at Air Arms, uh, we produce our full range of rifles. The stocks come from Manelli in Italy, the barrels come in from Lothar Warfare in Germany, but every single barrel that we do have in, we do do work to. Other than that, we pretty much make everything else ourselves. We have everything from manual, milling, manual uh, machines through to high-tech CNC milling machines, CNC lathes, and we have laser profiling. It's a big machine, I can tell you that. <laughs> We have two 11 pallet horizontal machine centers. They're slightly different in specification. One has a 20,000 RPM spindle, one has a 15,000 RPM spindle. They're very, very complex machines. So here at Air Arms, we have an apprenticeship scheme. At this moment in time, we have three apprentices. Uh, one is administration based, the other two are on the machine shop. Four days they're here at the factory. One of those days we, we have them working with dedicated engineers and all they are doing is training them those days. It's very interesting to have someone like Matt come to the factory. We see all of our processes and all of our components day in, day out. Matt's enthusiasm that he brings and the, the, I mean, you can see it that he's overwhelmed by all these components that he's never seen the way they're all laid out before and it's, it's such a different perspective than what we have day in, day out. Right, this is where it gets very exciting. This is where all the rifles are assembled and then packaged away to be sent off. Downstairs, where all the, the parts are made in the factory, it can be a little bit technical, a little bit confusing to the average, to the average visitor. But I think once you get up here, um, you can very clearly see um, the finished product and you can see everything gets put together and it's, it's very exciting because you get to see all the, the different varieties of rifles that, that this company produces. So on these, on these racks over here, we've got all the, the finished guns, the finished products that are ready to be to put in their boxes and be sent off. And you can see each one is, is individually marked with a serial number and a date of manufacture so that they can actually track them throughout their, their lifespan, which is, which is pretty awesome. But the, the detail on these, on these Minelli stocks is absolutely fantastic. The, the wood that they use is really, really high quality and they've got some really nice uh, machinery that can do um, laser checkering and, and, and laser um, embedding like this. You just see the, the quality on the stock is absolutely fantastic. So even the, even the products that aren't necessarily made in this factory, um, they are, are all of extremely good quality. We're testing our target screen today. Perfect opportunity with Matt being here for him to give it a go as well. Um, same thing again, it's a different perspective. We have it in house. We've been consulting with many uh, Army Cadet branches throughout the UK, but having the same again, having a more dedicated shooter puts a different light on things altogether. I used to do um, I used to do 10 meter shooting, but we had the we had the trap 
and that's it. There was so if you missed, you damaged the wall or you you damaged something, and so quite a nice invention you've got there. No, that's absolutely. And this this was brought about by the uh, some that the army cadets wanted because they wanted mm. to be able to to shoot air rifles within their small drill holes mm. um, without damaging everything, though, and shooting the lights and pellets bouncing back and going through windows. So it hopefully ticks everything on the box. So there you go. The the target trap has, has uh, passed its test. As you can see, the pellets didn't even make a dent on this uh, sheet of steel over here. And even if they did miss, this plastic is so thick that the, the pellets would literally do no more than, than bounce off. So uh, the test has been passed, and it's great to see that, that the products are tested so rig rigorously so that obviously by the time they're sold, they don't have any major issues or people having to, having to return them. So just uh, another day in the life of an, of an Air Arms employee. So there you go guys, that's a brief overview of what happens at the Air Arms headquarters day in and day out. I can honestly say I thoroughly enjoyed my time here. I'm extremely grateful to Air Arms for, for having me over and all that's really left to do is to go back to South Africa and cross this off on my bucket list. To find out more about Air Arms and their phenomenal range of precision air guns, visit air-arms.co.uk. Click one of the links for more fantastic videos from Air Arms TV and be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with our new videos. You and Air Arms, a winning combination.